So, while we're here, are there any homestead missions? Indeed there are. Let's go do those, since we're here. Even though I just did a whole ton of these recently, I still don't remember who lives where. <laughs> house is this? So this is Ollie's house. And this is Big Dave? No, this is the woodworking word, guy. Connor. business in New York on occasion. I only asked because I ordered a package from France and it's long overdue. I've written a postmaster and he's yet to respond. I thought you could inquire in person if you had the chance. I will pass by the next time I am there. Excellent. Simple enough. Now there was another mission just slightly further this way. This is Big Dave, is it not? They'll have to get through us first, Connor. Connor. The comeback, huh? They're coming, David. We need to be ready. Who is coming? Red coats. David's to be tried for treason. Executed more than likely. Connor, glad you're here. I want to show you something. Numbering us two to one is not a problem for me, honestly. But I'll put this one here. Maybe this time I can set it off. Oh, weak. will not risk losing more soldiers for one deserter. You are free of it now. Yeah, they just lost like 20 dudes to capture one guy. 
I highly doubt they're going to be doing that again. Excellent. More homestead? No. Just the request in New York for now. So, let's have a gander over here, shall we? I love when it loads into loading screens that load back into loading screens again. That's the sign of a high quality game. There we go. Good lord. Alright, so... There's something out there that is... probably the French ship. Considering this is my homestead mission. Okay, that was awkward. Hello. I have come to inquire on a package arriving from France on behalf of Lance O'Donnell. Was picked up and signed for by his apprentice a couple of days back, Patrick O'Hara. Patrick O'Hara is Mr. O'Donnell's former apprentice. Would you happen to know where he is? Sure. He's been hanging around the docks the last few days. Should be around the way. Here, take these pages and hide them. Don't let that guy get his hands on them. Dude, your apprentice, your former apprentice, is a dick. Oh, why? Stupid pig got in the way. one of these guys? No, he's over here. Excellent. The third one is on that ship, isn't it? Yes. Get up. Oh, here we go. 
This will allow me to get up. Turn the plans to Lance. <laughs> All right. Pretty straightforward at that point. Uh, I think I'll come in from here. Wait, this is the frontier. My bad. I think I'll come in from this location. Let's see what this gets Lance to be able to make for us. your French plans here. Where'd he go? Oh, hello. Have your plans. What are they for? You got them! This, Connor, is the design for a chair that folds. Genius! You won't regret this. Seriously? You sent me for plans for a folding chair. Eh. What are you gonna do? I was just getting underway on something that might be of interest to you. What is that? Those plans you retrieved for me. And believe you me, they were worth all the fuss. A folding chair. I do not follow you. It's a chair that folds, Connor. You can fold it right up and stack them, store them, transport them. I could have a thousand chairs in my back room. It's simple brilliance, and I am going to make a fortune. A folding chair. Hmm. Well, I wish you the best with it. You'll see, Connor. You'll see. I can't deny that folding chairs are very useful. Anyway, that should be it for the homestead missions now. Yeah, I don't see anything there. That's bowls, isn't it? Bowling. What game did somebody tell me that was just like? Um, uh, bocce ball. Which I had to look up again. I mean, even though I'm relatively familiar with the name bocce ball and now the rules of bowling, or bowl, or whatever it's called. Um, I looked up bocce ball and apparently it's this really popular game worldwide and it's not popular in the US very much so just like soccer aka football Connor I'm so glad you're here the plans I bought 
They weren't just a folding chair. Oh, no. They had something else with them. Something quite astonishing. A flying machine designed by Leonardo da Vinci himself. And I built it. <laughs> you can be the first to try it if you like. You'll be able to fly. Soar like an eagle. And it works? Da Vinci was one of the greatest minds in human history. As brilliant a man as there has ever been. You can be certain it works. Would you like to try? Yes. Such a device would certainly prove useful. Indeed. <laughs> okay, that was awesome. <laughs> oh, man. I did not expect that at all. Okay. So... To continue the storyline, we head back to New York. Let's go over here. But yeah, bocce ball, just like what the world would refer to as football. Not really popular sports in the U.S. Sorry, that's why I don't know the game. Strange that they choose a sport like that to, uh, to demonstrate in this time, but I guess at this point in time, that was really all they could afford to play. Makes sense. Oops. I mean, the American pastime of baseball uh, isn't exactly a inexpensive sport to play. There's a lot of equipment required, and a lot of people. You can't just play a game with like six people you need oh god what at least 18 minimum so yeah I don't know how many players are required for soccer but I know it's not 18 oops uh you know what I'm gonna go this way so I can get off here this in the fort? I believe it is. I could have fast traveled directly to it. I don't like you, Haytham. to know what the loyalists are planning if we're to put an end to this i've tried but the soldiers themselves are told nothing now only to await orders from above keep digging come find me when you have something worth sharing mm, we're so close to victory a few more well-placed attacks and we'll be able to put an end to the civil war and be rid of the crown what do you intend well nothing at the moment since we're completely in the dark i thought the templars had eyes and ears everywhere oh we did until you started cutting them off. Your contact said orders from above. It tells us exactly what we need to do. Track down the Loyalist commanders. Seems pretty self-explanatory. Again?
doing? I'm being so retarded about buildings. Alright, so I have to climb this building. Oh! Have you considered the proposal? I'm unconvinced. To reinforce them would leave New York exposed. It's hard enough maintaining order with our current numbers. Cut in half. Yet if we do not join with them, they risk defeat. And then what? Well, they should have come by sea. Well, they're talking in circles. We're nothing watching as we are. Then what do you propose we do? March in there and demand answers? Well, yes. Connor, it'll help here. Awesome. Leave the commanders alive, Connor. We can interrogate them. Bring them back to my quarters at Fort George and see what secrets they might share. <sighs> really? Well, you'd best get after him then. You go. I will watch the prisoners. No, you do it. Why me? Because I said so. Now go. So, I have to catch you, huh? Too bad I can't just shoot you. That would be so much easier. I'll tell you anything you want. Anything. Only don't make We just have some there. questions for you. Cross that threshold. I'm a dead man. There you are, Connor. I was worried you might have gotten lost. Come along, then. Move faster. I will push you up steps. I've fallen upstairs. It's not fun. You hit all sharp edges that way. Ah! 
I'll push him. Come on. Oh, beat around the bush here. What are the British planning? To march from Philadelphia. That city's finished. New York's the key. They'll double our numbers, push back the rebels. When do they begin? Two days from now. June 18th. I must warn Washington. You see? That wasn't so very difficult now, was it? I I've told you everything. N now let me go. Of course. <sighs> the other two said the same. It must be true. You killed him. You killed all of them. Why? They'd have warned the Loyalists. You could have held them until the fight was done. What? And with precious time and money on their care? What would be the point? They'd given up everything they knew. I'll meet you at Valley Forge. For all your fishing needs, mm. come to Captain Hornbills. Whether a fleet or a weekend angler, he's got everything to make him fall the water. Here goes the textures again.